Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Alright, we got that taken care of, so now let's go clean up this map now. So now we gotta play Risk here for the next 10 minutes. Or 20. But <laughs> how long it takes. Alright, so from there... So basically, you, you could play each one of these games that I'm simulating right now. But who has the time to play every single game in a simulation like this? Let's go clean this up. Of course you'd lose that. So from here, we're just... Uh, basically, I'm looking to attack all the way to get down to LA there on the bottom. And then once we're done that, we can work on the other side of the map. The other guys are pretty much just sitting kosher right now. Nobody wants to attack anyone, so. Alright, that's the way you're gonna work it. That's the way you're gonna work it. Alright, so let's skip to reinforcing again. We'll just load this up. And then, yeah, we're just literally just going through this map and tearing apart any hope they have of having a successful. Nice try. I appreciate you, but you know, you're not gonna get to do that. All right, fine. So one thing I am going to do, just because I am a little extra worried about it. Actually, what I could do is attack right now. Yeah, so we could take him on an all-star right now. So let's, you know what, let's quickly... Normally we'll we'll leave the packs to the end, but these packs are so damn good that I just wanna If we can get some help in the bullpen, it's always a good sign, right? We can do burns or we can do hawk. I wanna you know what we'll bring uh, let's You know, let's do Boston for now. We'll add them to the rotation. I know it's a little bit of a demotion for some of us, but that's okay. Now let's get on to LA here. So we'll play Dodger Stadium. We'll do a night game again. Partly cloudy. See what Tanner... Let's see. Hmm. So, Ed, do I go with the uh, Red Sox or do I go with the Dodger against the Dodgers? 
Either way, I think we're going to be laughing here, but... Go to Boston? All right, we're going to Hawk. Let's see what kind of... We're probably going to get... Uh... Kershaw. No, we get... <laughs> oh, he's glass, glass now is in second. So this is probably going to be the most dangerous game that we got going. Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium, Diamond Dynasty Baseball. Once again, thanks to everybody who's catching this up. It's Rancho Cucamonga taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Whether you're catching this live or you're catching up on our YouTube channel. And we'll be back for the first We've been getting into the habit of having these broadcasts on our YouTube channel every weekend. And now the center fielder, Jaron Duran. Chris, he leads the way with the best batting average on the team. But well, then Sunday, we're going to try a little online stuff and see how that goes. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Of course I was late. It's glass now. Yeah. And here it comes. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past the That was embarrassing. Out the plate, Bobby Witt Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. I got to find a way to take some pitches here, get some hits. Last now, the tall righty, 30 years old now. Just so I can knock him out of the game. Back in 2011. Now a screamer into the outfield. And Witt is out. I do everything but launch that out of the park. Jackson Merrill. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Lifted in Drop. the air down the left ah. side. And just foul. Thought I could get there with it. That one missed. Got to make him eat some pitches so I can get him out of the game. Hey. Top of the zone for nice the pitch. Strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger and perhaps the best pitch. Dang. Bat to hit. We are thinking everybody who's sticking around here tonight with the free drops coming in. Free, free drops weekend. So heat there at 98 yeah, I wasn't expecting hour. that pitch there. Oh, well. And Let's see what Tanner's got Rogers, for me. But I do want to have my bullpen going. Uh, let's try a sinker right off the bat. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. I can tell Tanner's not a pitcher I want to deal with too much. The slider just misses. One ball, one strike. Nice strike on the outside edge. One ball, two strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. Got it by him. Got to change speeds. Got to move things around. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Rip to short. Snagged on a bounce. And a couple of quick outs. All right. Good, 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 good. Outfield deep here. Trying to prevent anything over their heads. Fly ball center field Duran on the move. Makes the Gotta love it when you have a 99 speed center run. fielder. And that'll do it. Good old Boston Red Sox here. Uh that's the Duran MVP card or the All-Star MVP card. Because I am trying to load up some 99s just to, you know. Glass now back to work. That's the third. That'll work. That one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. Vladdy squirts his way through there. I like that. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Ryan McMahon. Unfortunately, I don't have another first baseman. My, my backup first baseman is my catcher right now. Well, I guess I could use Mauer at first too, but... Center field. Rosario after it. Damn. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. 
That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know. Those all right, Javier, let's see, see what you can do. The wind swirling around out there. Javier Baez in the box with one away. Got to make him eat some pitches. That one is absolutely belted. Edmund on a dead sprint, racing back. To the warning track makes the catch. Oh, just missed. And now the catcher comes up to him. Mike Napoli. You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Ball one, and the first pitch misses for ball one. Throwing in my head, are we? Hey. Late on that fastball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly up. Oh, nice. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Swung on. That'll and work. And That'll and work. Come on. Racing back. Ah. It in on the warning track. Two warning track shots there. Close, but no cigar. In LA, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The right hander back to work. Little chopper rolls foul. And he deals. Sliced hard, but foul. There we go. And that's a fit of slider up here. Up the middle. Fires over to Guerrero. All right. We got out of that. Okay. The batter now will be Will Smith. And fouled off. Check swing, but he went ha! too far. And a count is 0 and 2. Let's get the split finger low. Oh, oh, that nasty. That nasty pitch inside. Tommy Edmund at the plate. In there at the knees for the strike. newest Listen, member of the uh, make him work a little LA Dodgers, the Tommy Edmond. He is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. See if we can get him out here. Dang. All tied up. Bottom half of inning number two. Bring him down with a fastball. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. Sinker. Slider. There we go. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. All right, we cleaned up. We cleaned up there. Now we got to set up for our uh, late innings here. Michael Grove. Thoughts on the catcher for the Red Sox who is going to play both sides. Oh, uh, Danny Jansen. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. I, I love it. Because I don't know if Danny, uh, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. I don't know if Danny did anything in that game, to be honest with you, before. And Vic, good to see you here, my friend. We are, uh, he was at bat. Oh, he was at bat when it got called. Okay. No, I just didn't know if he was, uh, I don't know if he got anything. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Sometimes pitchers work him backwards, starting with the breaking ball, but it's a uh, tricky approach. I want to see Jansen. I want them to have Jansen be the leadoff, or like the first hitter of the game, just to take over. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one out now. Here's Elliot Ramos. Oh, they got a pick. I, I thought that they could restart the restart the game Fall off foul. in terms of bringing in top of the third no score it's it'll be September though I've they'll have 40 people to do that Crowder maybe you could answer for us by the way good to see you swing and a miss struck him out uh do they when they're, they're replaying this game, the Jansen's going to play for both teams. Do they get to reset the roster or whatnot? Reset the lineup? Now 
Now fly ball to right center. He's got it. Uh, that is that. But how's chapter three treating me so far? Not bad. We're doing the... Uh, normally, I save the team affinity for off stream, but the team affinity is a lot easier than the shark program. So... I figured we'd... Uh, we do the uh, team affinity tonight. That way we might be able to get some of the uh, team affinity cards. Which I'm really looking forward to those. That's in there. That's strike one. Just missed. And another ball. Hit in the air. Left field. He's under it. Calls it in. All right, Ramos. Good job here. Well, welcome everybody tonight. I, I don't know what the exact rules are going to be for that game. I am looking forward to it, though, because... And then from there, can really settle in. It's going to be a lot of fun to see how that's going to work up. James Altman stands in now, looks at that one inside. Swings and misses. Technically... And now it's even one and one. Box scores continuation postponed, so assuming he'll play that day. Right-handed reliever, and a count one and two. And there's a ball. He just misses there. All right. Base is empty one away. You're the last half of the third. No, no, we're not letting you do anything stupid here. Let's go. Andy Pajas, the next to hit. Fastball for a strike. Mind, and that's a base hit. This is the worst case scenario for us. Well, here we go. Winning run is on base with two away. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Yeah, we'll really have to see what happens there because I'm assuming, yeah, they'll... They'll obviously pitch hit for with the other catcher, right? Whether that be Severn or... Kirk or misses. Now one and two. The th and there we go. Or else uh and we're headed to extras. We got uh it, it's gonna be I think that game's in September, so we could have like forty catchers there or something like that. Runner in scoring position. I'm sure the Blue Jays aren't entirely worried about it. Bobby Witt Jr. over one so far. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Who's on? Oh, God, Duran's there. Yeah, let's go. This is going to be fun. Swing and a miss. That one at 101. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Ball outside. Ah, damn it. Next pitch misses way outside. It's all right. It's all right. We'll figure this out. And he's swinging to miss. Bringing the cheese on that one. Outside, and that is ball four. We'll get a runner back on second here in a sec. Certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. One down. And now, Jackson Merrill. That's a strike. One one. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind. Run around the move. Pitch misses. He and throws it behind me. I'm gonna let him run. Even close. There, we're just replaced. We just got one out. That'll work. And that's That'll work. Around third. Here comes the throw. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. One nothing. Let's just Jr. fix this up. Oh, there we go. In this game. Gotta make sure the closer's ready to go now. Let's go. go in his fifth season, he features Merrill's not bad, but slider and occasionally uses a cutter. That one misses. They're doing a lot of low balls here, so. 
In the air, right field. That's a third. That's and third. That's a fair ball. Merrill, round second on his way to third. And they'll have runners at the corners. That's what I like to see. Field. Let's go. Brian Always McMahon takes to the fourth inning to, to get things in gear, right? The fly out. And ball one. See, I picked up McMahon as part of my, well, this was the rare, the rare card I ended up getting. Or no, sorry, it was, uh, Mason Miller, I think, was the, was the one. Oh, no, Duran was it. Never mind. I keep thinking about it. It was actually really funny. After I got off stream uh, last Sunday when I was looking at this, Because I've been trying to grind for programs, right? And the all-star program's the one that I was working for the most. I forgot that I still hadn't done... Because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. I didn't realize I could do... I, I hadn't done the moments yet. Well, I was down 30 points. To fin oh, God. All right. Supercharged snail coming. Nice. Javi Baez digs in right side. Javi. Javi. Uh, this might be something we would really enjoy you doing if you could. First pitch, not close. Just finished no hitter. Ah, oh, got a boy. Here in extra innings. Mr. Call of Duty himself. Next pitch is outside. Pressure's on right here. If you uh, count, aren't following Snellzilla, fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. In the air, Go! Right field, pretty well struck. That one carrying. And it one hops the wall. They're waving McMahon home. Now a relay to the plate. Tag. There we go. Let's go. Suck it, Kelly. Suck it hard and suck it long. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. <laughs> swings through that one as he comes uh, through. Uh, but here's the fun part. It is no longer a save opportunity, so let's uh, bring in the guy. Let, let's bring in the guy with the good karma to close out the fourth. And a pitch. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. And we'll just go over to third. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Glad to see Kelly's in all star form here. At the belt and fires. Wouldn't chase that time. You idiot. Oh my god, chat. What did I do that for? He hasn't been putting anything in the strike zone, literally. In there for strike one. Everybody happy with the Kikuchi chair? Oh, I, I love that. Uh, I don't know if you saw Game Time Arts post about Kikuchi here. It was just absolutely brilliant. Kikuchi working his ass off. Right Let's see maybe if the Astros can get him some runs now. I'm like, wow. I haven't heard that one before. Two outs. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Get there, get there, get there, get there. There you go. Gotta love the RBI. Some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Oh, late. Well, yeah, Lo Profito. I'm really looking forward to having him in the lineup here for the last month. Just because he is that good of a player. 
Castellanos. The runner at first with two gone. There's a That'll work. A drive. That'll work. Banks off the wall. Coming home. Now he stops and he's <laughs> No, 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 no. Forward. I sort of went a little late on that. Where is this coming from? Oh, yeah, it's Joe Kelly. And they're leaving him out there. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One run is in. We'll leave it at one. I want. I want this. Uh, I want these runs to just pile up. Clearly, he was ready to hit Alex Vasilla. All right. Well, now we maybe will. Now we'll be nice. Because we still got two more games to go yet here. Uh, the the Orioles and the uh, Phillies. So the Phillies are not going to be an easy one. The Orioles, well, maybe I just put all Cleveland Guardians in and it might be easy for me. And that one pulled foul. All right, Bobby, let's see what you can do. Puts it in the air oh, that'll be it. Left center. Pulls it in all right, well, we got it. six. So that should be enough, I hope. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Liam Hendricks. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle. The one thing I wish this game would have in terms of roster makeup is a little bit more bullpen help. So we'll see how sharp he is. Because you're getting starting pitchers up the wazoo everywhere here. For one, he grounded out in his first at bat. And a pitch. That clips a corner. If you're looking for a strike thrower, this is your guy. Doesn't matter what era of baseball you're talking about. You want someone that's going to throw strikes, and he's your Let's man. Let's go the two seam. Next offering is downstairs. So, Chris, does the offense dial up the aggressiveness against him? What is the approach exactly? Well, there is confidence that, hey, I'm going to get a pitch to hit during the bat. There's some guys where you're thinking, maybe I get... I would say maybe just hit the damn ball once. To turn around. With this guy, you're going to get two, maybe three. It's just a matter of, can you capitalize? All right, are you going to swing there, Mookie? One out and a runner at second. You're an extra do the slider out here. Misses, All right. This is an all-star, by the way. Oscar Hernandez. Grounded out his first time. In there at the knees. It's 0-1. This umpire's been giving me that call all week. Fastball for a strike. One strike away. Hit to right, and that should do it. Uh, and I think we I don't think that's gonna make it. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from Let's hear that DuckTales. Not as easy as we expected. Boop, boop. It's funny because I literally put the DuckTales theme on for 29 seconds because at 30 they can uh, copyright me. So, okay, so six, seven hits, six runs, all in the sixth. That's amazing. Okay, so we got McCutcheon, so we're done with Baez. Langford, oh, a couple millionaires, five packs. I like this. I'm just cleaning up right now. This is really good. Yeah, so we're done the home retro home run derby program, so we can get rid of uh, get rid of Baez out of there. Even though you know he had that awesome triple for it or double for us. Uh, there's so many programs to go through here. We'll clean this up. Another millionaires pack. We'll clean up this side. We'll get our next game set up, and then we will go. Uh, have a little tackle at our uh oh god
Please tell me you're not going to attack our base again. For some reason, I, I was scared that they were actually going to do that. Always good to get the hidden rewards there. There you go. Thank you for that sweep there. Are you freaking kidding me? All right. Well, the heck with that. We'll deal with that later. They are definitely not fooling around. Of course, you're going to make me do this extra so I can... Uh... All right. Just for giggles, I'm going to put four there. And then from there. Yeah, nice try, jerk. All right. We're lined up. We're ready to go against there. Let's go take a look at what... Oh, we didn't get any of those. All right, never mind. Let's go line up and get rid of Baez out of here. Uh, what's the speed on this, Marte? 59, 64. Or we could go with Leo. No, I want to go with Marte because if we can get a chance to uh, steal with them. One of the requirements for the Team Affinity, or sorry, one of the programs is two stolen bases by a... By a Diamondback. I can't remember which program it is. Either way. Just get her done. That's all I'm worried about. Speaking of get her done, let's take out these Orioles. And this time, since we used Hawk last time, let's use Glass now this time. And then after, well, you know what? Let's let's go with the number five. Then we'll use Glass now against the Phillies. Because literally I want to make sure we use every pitcher that we go go through this here. against Dean Kramer. Now, if you didn't see earlier today, we, uh, the Orioles absolutely got creamed as always. Well, they got creamed hey, yesterday. They were us. getting creamed we when I saw earlier by the Cleveland Guardians. The players taking on the Baltimore Orioles. So I want to do my best to clean this up. We'll finish that other one on the other side. Then the last team to take on is the uh, okay, all set to go. Here's a big power threat. Jaren is the Philadelphia Phillies, which is going to be a whole ball wax monks itself. All right. The wind of the pitch. Swings through. Of course, he throws a cutter first instead of a fastball. Jerk. That's down and in. All right. right I can see where he's going now. High fly ball out at a left center field. Kowser sizing this one up, and he makes the catch. One away. It's amazing how it, it shows the true colors of the Blue Jays in a way. How the Orioles just spank the uh, the Jays, and then all of a sudden against the Guardians, they hit a brick wall. He can do it and get it done. And a rare talent. So much fun to watch. Ah! Yeah, I know. Very early. And oh. another ball. I am lucky there. And 
And a pop off right side foul territory. Didn't get it out there enough. He makes the catch, and there's two down. And next is the designated hitter, Jackson Merrill. He swings and fouls one off. Braid the catch's face. That works. Inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Really? I'm an idiot. One and two. Right at him. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. I'm never good in the first inning. I'll, I'll just straight up say that here. Uh, speaking of not being good in the first innings and such, uh, for those that aren't familiar with our YouTube channel, the link is down in down below. Uh, this weekend, we're going to have the Sheriff's Badge. Down the left field line, should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Uh, we're going to have the Sheriff's Badge program available. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. For Just you there. Right so there. if you're running, interested well, in checking things out. For the base hit. Those always feel great. Swings and misses. Strike one. One and one. And yeah, that's Go downstairs ahead. and outside. Two and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's go slider down here. Runner on second. Swings through it. Here we go. And next for the Orioles, Gunnar Henderson. Oh, God. Pitch misses. One and oh. It's not for sure that would have been a strike. That's inside. Two will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Westbrook, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a foul over the screen. Yeah, let's go 12 to 6 play. curve out here. Down it In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Kicks and fires. Swings there we go. On the fastball Take the cheese right at the chest. The Anthony Santander at the play. First pitch and this is not a good matchup right now. I just realized that. Two down. Strike two. Another 0 2 count oh, right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go. And he got him. Strike the reason I was so worried, it's Blue Jays side. against uh, Orioles because this is the Blue Jays prospect. All set for the start but speaking of, of which, let's get the bullpen going here now around. that we've survived that. We got switch left, right. I love Miller. We'll see how I feel here as we go he along. On the rubber, with that good live arm delivers. That catches the outside corner. Strike one. Doesn't have much energy left, though. Just nope. missed. One and one. This one popped up. You idiot. And Guerrero is set down. Ugh. And there's one down. The number five pitchers are always so frustrating for me. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. So they've done pretty much a shift, so. Get on the ground to the right side. And that's what happens when you do a shift. Two up, two down on the top of the second. All right, Cattell. I brought you back in here. Let's see if you can do anything for me. Make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Outside. Nope, no, no. Not as fast as he was last year, I'll say that for sure. Back now at Oriole Park. Here's Adley Rushman. All right, what do I want to do here? Um, yeah, let's use Strom. Will be the lefty Matt Strom. Turn him around. That one is absolutely belted. 
And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Ramos hurries it back in. And that holds the go ahead run <sighs> second base. Well, it's just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going. You know, every time I try to make a, a good managerial decision, he did it perfectly. Swing and a miss. No ball. And that's right. strike two. To the right side. Marte oh. throws the first in time. That's one out the bottom of the second. Here's All right, I need a strikeout now. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. With the go-ahead run at third, bottom half yeah. of inning number two. Swing and a miss one, as one. he was late that time. Oh, uh, let's see if I can get him up high here. There we go. Let's go. Strike out there. And into the box for Baltimore, Colton Kowser. Lifted in the air out to left. Ramos under. All right, we got out of it. And that Dumb managerial moves beginning. outside of the norm. I can't say it was the worst decision ever, but I didn't look, I didn't look at the splits. That's my problem. Fastball, slider, sinker, circle change. All right, so no curveball. Well, I want to get uh, Napoli, and he's currently the team leader in batting average, Chris. Thoughts on the Baker MGF situation? I honestly would need to know what was said to really say about it. Everybody knows I'm a big fan of Baker. And a pitch. And it's way to miss. But also, you know, this is a... Oh, I'll wait till the ad's done. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. That misses the zone. One and one. And the righty deals. Wouldn't chase that time. Next pitch is outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again. 3-2. Some high cheese for strike three. Ugh. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Just wait for the ads to finish. This one and I got underneath it. Damn it. In terms of Baker and MJF, I... Here's Elliot Sorry, thank you for waiting through the ad, Ed. I appreciate you. you can forget about having any success uh, in terms of Baker and MJF... That one ripped right I do... Th oh, God. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Thank you, Ramos. Thank you. So the lineup flips over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Zinger. Swing and a foul straight back. Fell on the mound. This we is needed that. Even if it's the only hit for the game. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind well, on a strike. But uh, fresh, I think it's a workplace argument. As as Gets amplified because they so are in that business. Ripped on the ground a second on to O'Hearn. All right. <sighs> we got through that. I, re I really need to know what was said before I can really qualify and see if things were justified or not. Bottom of the inning. Now here's the Orioles DH. Ramon Urias. Because there was something that was brought up to me that... Uh, here comes Emmanuel Classe. Makes me worry just just a little bit. Not not a ton, but I, I'm trying to think of the best of everybody, but you got to remember MJF is Jewish and Alicia too is Palestinian. If it's any comment related to that, then that's unforgivable. And there's one down. 
So back to the yeah. top of the Orioles now. Jordan Westberg will hit next. And, and there's a lot of question marks that are coming up right now, like Adam Cole moving back to Pits to Pennsylvania. If you didn't hear, he's actually put it on his Discord and also on the AEW Games podcast. So could there be a possibility that they might have broken up? I haven't checked the socials about it. I, frankly, it's none of my business. Down a bunt. It's safe at first, a bunt single. All right. And I'm hitting the button. With a guy like this at the plate, still in second may eliminate him from getting really good pitches to hit. Now they can work around him with first base open. So, got to roll the dice here and hope that uh, he gets something to hit. Classe is just one strike away. There we go. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. And that ends the ball game. I'll talk more about it here in a sec. Thank you, Ed. We got one more to go, though. We got five down, one to go. Well, nobody's mentioned if uh, maybe Brits... Brits started a moving her... Moving her stuff back home, too. Like, we don't know. And I, I'd assume. Like, it, it's simple. We don't know all the details, so I don't want to over-speculate. Yes, we could speculate out the Wazoom about stuff, and... I'd almost be scared about some of the stuff that I'm thinking that might have happened in terms of what's going on here and such. So this one we barely scrape by on, so... And we just got hits with left fielders. We're getting close to finishing a bunch of these drops here, which I'm very happy about. So let's finish. Let's mop up this area here. Oh, sorry, chat. Because it is going to take a uh, It's really tough to think about what uh, is going to happen here in this case because, you know, I think the world of Brit, I, I always have in terms of what, what uh, ever since I saw her at a, oh God. All right, well, let's go clean up this little piece of junk here and we'll, thank you. Reinforced. I'll reinforce it here. Just because I'm paranoid that way. We will take the last three because I'm not paranoid as well. But yeah, um, as far as I'm concerned, it is a st situation that happened in a workplace that happens all the time in a workplace and probably would happen, a, probably would have been noticed a lot more if it would, it would have been as blown out of proportion with, you're really going to do that, aren't you? You're a complete piece of garbage. You know that, Philly?
All right, I guess we'll clean some of this up later. They just decided to make this a lot uglier, so. But no, it. If you're if you're looking for a statement out of me, like at uh, Brits at complete fault or MJS complete fault, I'm not gonna. I am not gonna say that. Because there's no way. And I know you're not Ed, and I, I, I'm sorry if it comes out the wrong way there, but simply put, we don't know enough to really comment solidly about what happened there. Eventually, I think we will. The thing that sucks the most is the fact you have those WWE stands that are going to milk this for everything it's worth and then everything it's not worth. Like, to me, that's the most frustrating part out of it completely, so... And I think we'll leave it at that right now for that. I think we're good there. So yeah, let's uh, let's finish off the Phillies here, and then we can uh, clean, go through the old uh, the rest of the cards and see what we get out of this. Because we're gonna get a ton of cards, I think, out of this, to be honest. And this time we'll use glass now, as we were mentioning. Well, once again, everybody, thank you for hanging out here, whether you're wa watching live on uh, Twitch or you're watching on the old YouTube on VOD. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of stories that have come across in the last few days that have been driven to a lot of negativity in this world. From the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank. Uh, I'll wait till he's done MLB talking here. Brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Rancho Cucamonga taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Like, let's let's be straight up here. We got everybody talking. Well, next. that that's where I was going with there. With everybody in their negative comments towards Stephanie the Algerian the boxer. Jaren Duran. The center fielder. Jaren. And everybody's trying to fit a narrative, right? Why to kick the pitch? On the corner for a strike. And we're underway. But I will say point blank, I don't know if any of us really are gonna know what's that one fouled off. What's going on in, in the world when, when it comes to a lot of people. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Like as far as I'm concerned, now it's gonna be you should be pulling that title off of uh, Logan Paul. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Oh please. Oh, please. Going back. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. A solo shot. Thank you for not having us to have to worry about that right now. His bat looks like it's in the zone for Finally. a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Now it's the DH, Jackson Merrill. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Back to back, Jax. Just get a little admire a little bit. A special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys. I, I don't know. It, it's weird sometimes. I'll get on these rolls where you get like six or seven runs at a time. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Out to short. Can't glove it cleanly. Yeah, but it's Vladdy. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. He's got the speed of a. He's got a speed of a slug sometimes. He's gotten better, but. But going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. Out there to center, Hayes has Drop. sized up. Pulls it down. It's okay. I just wanted. And that is that. I just wanted to get a lead, and that's what we got here. So I'm happy about that. We got our DH with a home run. We got our. 
We're shortstop with a home run. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman. And we got theoretically one of our best pitchers up. And here it comes. Bottom of the zone and a cold strike. Check swing. He went too far. But yeah, we also got like one thing. Oh god, that was just embarrassing. Really fooled him with the breaking ball there. Uh JT Real Muto steps in. In there and it's on one. So if you didn't know, Ed, just and for anybody who's listening on chat here, uh, we actually are working on the how the ref would book challenge. It is gonna be the follow for brawl out. My goal is to have it out the week in between. Uh all in and all out. After Bash in Berlin. Here is Harper. First and I totally want it to be a lighthearted way of just talking about it, right? Swing and a miss. That is strike two. No balls, two strikes. Got him. Strikes out the side. Class now has just destroyed these guys. I love it. Uh, I will get a bullpen started, though, just to be safe here. Orion Kirkery comes on now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. But yeah, if. If this Baker thing turns into anything more than, like, there was a complaint about, you know. An outstanding hitter in Marte. Oh, one other thing, I guess uh, a lot of people don't realize. It seems like we're seeing fewer and fewer switch hitters, and he is the person throwing out the rumors about Will Washington as well as Mariah May. Yeah, that's the ringside news guy, Brad. Uh, Brad so you know how credible that is right SRS came out and just plain old said you're an idiot his team is a better batting average than he does Siggy that one's in there going one back to off the plate that time which I who takes his game to another level playing at night bounce to third and it's through for a hit so they get a man aboard with a one out. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, I know you're talking about Brad. But the thing is, Brad's the one who brought up the extra parts about uh, what the source was, what happened, and the arguments with Mariah May and the arguments with uh, Will Washington. Not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch misses. And people are just running with it because they don't know any better. Because when mainstream media can come up with stuff, that could produce clicks. Deals. Yeah. Late with the swing there. Cold Come night on. tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Swing. Damn. Yes. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses. Had him way out front of the slur. Oh. And at first, and here is Elliot Ramos. On the ground right side. Oh. To second, At least it's not a double play. Is over. Mainly because there's only two outs already. Well, let's see what Glass now can do here for the next. Here's Trey Turner. Not shortstop. Glass now back to work. Right through there. I got the setup man ready to go just in case, but. And a foul ball. Right now, it looks like Glasnow's all over this. Pitch misses. Going to count one and two. And that's in the dirt. Runs it up to there we go. If you ain't, ain't going to swing at the soft stuff, I'm going to ring it right down your throat. On the ground to the left. I'm not the biggest fan of using McMahon on my lineup, but hope, as long as his name's Ryan or Shane, not Vince. And we were talking about this on uh, Wednesday. I really do hope that Shane is a part of AEW, but I hope he's part of the business side of AEW, not the... Uh, that misses. They're now three and one. And it's fouled away. Because I could guarantee you he could get a media deal for China the way that he 
he goes. All right, we got through the two innings. Because if Shane's connections outside of the wrestling business can come into effect and help AEW, I'll have him there all day. So, yeah, let's get the closer up because... What's he got? Four fastball sliders. He's got everything. Damn. All right. I was way too early on that last swing. Now at the plate, he's already homered in this game. Out towards right center field. Castellanos moves on it. Drops into the glove. Good, good contact, and just not where I needed it to be there. So. Is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Jackson Merrill. He's already homered here in this one. Let's get him some support, boys. Let's go. Take his head off. I love it. So he gets on base and keeps it going. First pitch swing in, went up there with with the real Muto behind the plate, I am not going to even dare try to run. Oh, Vladdy. Oh, Vladdy. Oh, Vladdy. Ah. Oh, Vladdy, you disappoint me again. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Welcome back. And here comes the closer. <laughs> I'll give you that one. I am a coward. With tons of movement. Nick Castellanos digs in now. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, it's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. So I will, uh... Started after the, one the Automat pitch, caught that, yeah. Down to first. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Kelly. Swing well, it, it's not just Automat. It's also Wise Bot, too. Because I do have Wise Spot uh, helping me out, and it does a lot of great work. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. 99. How do you do? Struck him out. Having him freeze. Phillies have just one out remaining. And now it's Austin Hayes. Ground ball, and this should And that'll do it. On to first. Ball game. In a So uh, with this, we should be able. We're we're we still got some cleaning out to do, right? Because we got to finish the grid off the way that, uh, like we did with the other ones here. So we will get an extra pack for beating uh, the East teams. Lance Lynn. All right. So this one's part of the uh, architect program. So I am getting there with that. And then I got a whole bunch of packs coming in. I am going to have to get a tops now lineup back up here, but. All right, let's finish cleaning this up. It's still going to be uglier than heck to try to do this. All right, I don't know which way to go, but we're going to we're going to get out of here somehow. We're going to take one of these big chunks out of here. This might actually be the smarter way to do it. Even if we don't win this one. Okay, so we got to reinforce here. So we'll do... 
four here, five there, and then we will load up. Is there anybody else we can move? Nope. Okay. Of course you're gonna do that, you jerk. Doesn't matter. We'll clean it up anyway. So yeah, we just have to sim out the rest of this and this will be the quickest team affinity I've ever done here. All the other ones have a lot more games involved. So like my chapter ones, I'm still on. I still haven't got my second half of them done. Watch this. It beat me up. Oh, no. Never mind. And our last one. No, straight out. Five packs for Facey the Program. I love how we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Wrong one. There we go. So we have completed the program. So we have completed the uh, the conquest mode, but there's a whole bunch of stuff here. And uh, let's see here. Oh God, whole bunch of unlockables, but no cards yet. 